Hey there, piano girls and piano boys! My name is Michael Marber and this is part 2 of my tutorial for Una Matina by Ludovico and Audi. I'm sorry I didn't make videos the last couple of Fridays, but part 2 is done now, so enjoy! Okay, so let's start with the left hand of the second part. With the left hand you will play the following. You start on this lower F, then you play C and A back and forth. You play A three times and C four times, so like this. Then you go to the next chord. And now the good thing is, in the beginning, you can just keep this pattern and just go one step higher to this chord and do the same. And one step higher again. You just add a last C in the end. And hold it. So again, the first time you play the left hand, it goes like this. Now the second time you play it, it changes a little bit. The first two chords stay the same. But the third one, you will again play A, E, but instead of playing C, you will just play another A up here. So like this. Okay, so again. Now the third time you play it, you will also leave away this A for the first chord and only play F, C, F. You do the same for the second chord. And for the third chord as well. And now the fourth time you play it, it you will play F, C, and A on the first chord. And then on the second chord, you will already just play two different notes. G, D, and G. And again, A, E, A. So let's listen to the whole left hand again.
Okay, so now to the right hand. So in the first part, we left off right here. So your right hand is already on this B up here. And from this B, you will go down to A. And with playing this A, you will start to play the left hand as well. So. On the second C, you play with the left hand. On the first chord, you will play E with your right hand. So. Now on the second D of the second chord, you will start to play B and A back and forth. You will play B three times and A three times. So like this. So as you can see, you hold the third B a little bit longer than the other ones. You hold it until you start the third chord. And then you play the last A. And you play again E on the second E you play with the third chord. Now I hope the notes I put up in this video help you to see where you have to play which note. Because it's not that easy to explain. So let's listen to that again. Alright, now you start again to play B and A back and forth. You again play B three times and A three times. And on the third A, you start to play left hand again. This E on the second C of the left hand always repeats. So you can always remember that. Now, instead of playing B and A back and forth, you will play B three times, then jump up to C, and then play B twice, A, and E again. So it will sound like this. And from here on, it basically repeats again, with the ending of the first part. This is always kind of an intro for the next pattern that starts. With this intro, you start to play everything that we have just learned for the right hand once more. So let's listen to all of that again.
Now the second time. And that was it for this part. Now let's listen to how it should sound like in the end. that was it so far if you have any questions left or want to write me something or make a request or something just post them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to see when part three is coming out bye bye